Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing by multiples of 10. This is kind of a fun lesson because it's really not very difficult. If you're okay with a decimal, which is right there, if you're okay with that hopping around left and right, you won't even need a calculator anymore. Whenever you see a question like this that says multiply by 10 or multiply by 100 or 1000, etc. Okay? Dividing, it's also going to be the same way. It's going to be about hopping the decimal. The reason why this is also nice is um, for those of us in most of the world that use the metric system, um, it makes it really easy. So, you know, centimeters, millimeters, and so on, all it is for those questions is hopping the decimal as well. And if you want to see a video on that, uh, check out one of my videos on. Uh, converting metric units, I believe, or something like that. Okay, well let's get to it. How would you multiply 5.6 by 10? Okay, the rule is when you multiply by 10, and you can take a calculator and verify, you're going to move the decimal one place, one place to the right. So for, for this question here, um, oops, oh boy, it's not writing. Let's try again. There we go. We're going to take that decimal right there. I almost wish I could almost wish I could break it up and there we are. Ha ha. We can take this decimal and move it over one place to the right. So 5.6 times 10 is just 56. Whoops. Wow. My poor number. There we go. If we were multiplying it's going to be too confusing. So I'm just going to say is 56 when you multiply it by 10. If you multiply it by 100, okay, the answer will be the decimal will go one hop and two hops. If it goes two hops, you're going to need a zero right here. So it's going to be one hop and two hops. 560. Feel free to verify that on a calculator if you like. And if you take 5.6 and multiply it by 1,000, how many hops do you think that would be? One, two, three. That's right, it would be three. So it would be one hop. So far it's just 56. Two hops, that would make it 560. Three hops, it would be 5,600. OK, do you see how fast this is? Let's try, and let's try these questions. This time, we're going to divide. Can you guess what we're going to do when we divide? We're going to be moving the decimal instead of to the right, instead of making the number bigger as we did when we multiply. When you divide, you're generally making a number smaller. So 5.6, if you divide by 10, you're going to move it one place to the left. So if you multiply, or sorry, if you divide by 10, you're going to take the decimal right here and move it one place over to the left right here. Usually we put a zero in the front. 0 0.56 would be the answer. Check it on your calculator if you like. What about dividing by 100? Well, the decimal was right here, 5.6. Move it one place over, and then another place over. Okay, In that space here, you can't just leave an open air, open space. You're going to have to put a zero there. Okay, It's up to you if you want a zero in the front, but this zero hero, here. <laughs> It's very important. Okay, the next question. We're dividing by a thousand. Yikes, lots of jumps. How many jumps? Well, it would be three jumps. So, one jump, two jumps, three jumps. Whoa, how many zeros were there filling this space again? Let's try again. One jump, two, j sorry, one jump, two jumps. I'm going to put a zero there. That was two jumps and three jumps. There it is. Okay, feel free to verify on your calculator if you like. Here's a challenge. Well, if you want to, it's not much of a challenge. If you just take a calculator, you'll see a very strange rule when it comes to this one. When you multiply something by 0 0.1, believe it or not, it's actually the, it's actually the same thing as dividing by 10 which we just did right here. I'll say that again. When you multiply by 0 
That's the same thing as dividing by 10. Do you remember the rule for dividing by 10? We just did it right here. So when you multiply 5.6 by 0 0.1, we're not going to be going to the right. We're actually going to be going to the left because it's like dividing by 10. This number is in the tenths position, okay? It is not even bigger than the number 1. It's between 0 and 1. It's 1 over 10 if you were to change this into a fraction. 0 0.1 and 1 over 10 are really the same thing. It is like dividing by 10. Okay, I've said that so many times now. I, I'm sorry. I apologize. So let's move the decimal one place to the left. And it's just like this question here. Okay? And if you were to divide by 0 0.1, well, dividing by 0 0.1 is the same thing as multiplying by 10. It's the opposite. So if you get 5.6 divided by a 0 0.1, try it on your calculator. You're actually moving the opposite. Instead of going 1 to the left, you're going to go 1 to the right. You're going to get 56. Okay? If you don't believe me, let me try it right now. Take 5.6 divided by 0 0.1, you get 56. There, I hope, I hope the calculator convinced you that this is actually true. All right, let's go to the next page. We've got some questions here. Let's fill in this chart. I'll use a black pen since I never get to because I use a black background. It says complete the following chart by multiplying the top row by the left-hand column. So let's try that. Take this number, multiply by 10. Do you remember the rule? Say it to yourself, because we're not allowed to use a calculator here. Yes, you are right. You move it over one place to the right, so it would be... Okay, you can go through this if you want. You can push pause, quickly try this on your own. See if we get the same numbers as you. This is really just a lot of practice of moving the decimal one place over to the right. Do you agree with me? Yep. How about the next one? You can push pause and slow me down, okay? Uh, this would be 1.8. I'm going kind of quick. Hopefully I'm not making any mistakes. If you're multiplying by 10 squared, that really is the same thing as multiplying by 100. Okay, because 10, 10 squared is really 10 times 10. That's 100. So take all of these decimals here and move them over two places. So there's the answer for that one. This one was already done for us for some reason. This answer here would be 807. And this one here would be 18. OK. Now we're multiplying by 0 0.1. Do you remember the rule for that? It's the same thing as dividing by 10. So it would be moving this decimal over one place to the left. One, zero, three. I'm going to go quickly here because this video will get too long otherwise and you guys will get bored. Give up. <laughs> or you're going to shut it off because you understand and you're just going to go ahead and do your homework that your teachers are asking you to do. Ooh, this one's a little tricky. Moving one place to the left it's a little bit tricky because you get a zero there. Okay, you move it one place to the left, you're going to come up with this guy right here. Okay, let's do the last page here. I bet it's going to be dividing, sure enough. Starting off with dividing by 10, let's do it. Feel free to push pause and work ahead of me if you like. Divide this one by 10. Hopefully I'll not get these answers all wrong and mess you up. Math teachers can be terrible that way sometimes. There we go, folks. That's the first row. Let's try the next one. Remember, 10 times 10, or 10 squared, is just 100. So we're dividing by 100, which is moving the decimal over two places. This is what we should get for that. This one's been done for us. Ooh, moving it over two places would give us a little bit trickier, right? And the last one, ooh, yeah. Lots of zeros in there. 
Okay, I'm trying to move quick. Now remember when you divide by 0 0.1, you're going to do the opposite of moving to the left. You're actually going to be moving to the right, and in this case, one spot. Okay, if it was 0 0.01, you would move two spots to the right. But 0 0.1, just move one spot to the right. So this answer for the first one would be 1,341. We moved it one place to the right. Let's move this one one place to the right. And once again, and last one, and I think that is the last page. I just wanted to verify. Thank you for listening, folks. I hope you like multiplying by tens, one hundreds, one thousands, etc. Dividing also. It's just great fun. And the metric system does all of that and much more. Okay, have a good day, folks. Take care. Bye.